Hello, I'm Charles, and this is the Tidewater Oyster Gardeners Association video on how to build a Taylor float. The Taylor float is a PVC ring with a basket inside to hold your oysters as they're growing. The first step in building a Taylor float is to prime all of your PVC joints inside your 90 degree elbow and around the end of each of the pieces. Next step in building a Taylor float is to put the glue on the inside of your elbow very liberally and on the outside of your pipe. Put them together with a twist and this creates an airtight seam on the inside of your elbow and on the outside of your pipe to help keep the air in. Then do the same thing on the other end. Put them together with a twist and then square them up either on the sides or like this pressing together or else your PVC ring will not be square. The next step in building your PVC ring is to put some glue on the inside of your elbow and on the outside of your pipe and put them together firmly with the twist. And then do the other side. The next step is to put the glue on the inside of your elbows. on the outside of your pipes and then take your assembly line it up and press tight and hold it for a few seconds and now you have your PVC ring now that the PVC ring has been assembled, next we have to build the basket. We have a four by five piece of wire, one inch grid. And what we want to do is measure in 12 inches on the four foot side and mark. And 10 inches on the five inch side and mark. And then we want to cut this corner out and repeat this process for all four corners. Then you cut up and take the corner out. Next, since we're going to build supported or strengthened corners, you want to take out these two little pieces of wire right here. And this will bend around to make a supported corner. Now that we have finished cutting out the four corners and the little pieces to make reinforced corners, we're ready to bend their basket. If you have a bender, it is the easiest way. And if you don't, you can always use a rubber hammer and a two by four. You take your bender, you line up your wire seams where you want the bend to occur. Make sure you're straight and then fold the wire up just past 90 degrees. And you can see the beginning of your reinforced corner and one edge of your basket. Then you have your basic basket. 
Now we need to assemble the corners. To finish off the basket, we need to attach the corners. And we'll use our pig rings and attach it in three places along the actual seam, in the top, the bottom, and the middle, and then at four places where the strength of the corner overlaps the satin. And you have a nice secure corner. After you have completed pig ringing your four corners, it's time to put the PVC ring on the basket. Lay your PVC ring on the table. Then lay the open end of your basket down into the PVC ring. Come in five or six inches, looping at least three pieces of wire. Attach your cable tie and pull tight. Put two on each side of the float. Then if you wish, you can take your wire cutters and clip off your cable ties and you have a completed tailor float.